welcome back to a new season of Counselor's Corner. I'm Jill English. I'm a counselor at Dow High School. And with me is Lori Hallberg, also a counselor at Dow High. So we're now in the month of November. And we're here to give you information about um, things that are happening in the counseling office across the district. At this point, most seniors have already submitted their college applications. Um, Halloween is usually the deadline that we try to get them to shoot for to have their applications submitted by. And some schools have an early action deadline of November 1st. But it's certainly not too late to submit applications at this point. So if a student has not applied for either a college or post-secondary training, then they should be applying to these places online. And part of that college application is to also submit your transcript through parchment. All students have a parchment account to send their transcript electronically. And then they also need to make sure that they have sent their ACT and SAT scores. And if they have not already requested that, they would go directly to the ACT or SAT website and pay $12 to have their um, scores sent to the colleges that they're applying to. Um, also, both schools hosted a college application day the last week of October. So this was an opportunity for students to go into the computer lab and receive assistance for submitting applications or submitting their transcript. And for those students who have already applied, they had the opportunity to listen to a panel of college students who could give them some little tips and advice about their first year of college. A lot of times students are nervous about certain things and here they could hear it directly from the college students. And they were also able to receive some information on financial aid. Another thing that was happening across the district, in October all um, juniors took the PSAT. And this is part of the newly, re newly redesigned um, suite of SAT assessments. So the PSAT is a practice SAT test, but it was also the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. So based on how high students scored on that test, they may become National Merit Semifinalist. We will be receiving those results in December and passing them back to the students and helping them understand um, how to read the score report. It's a new process for all of us, and we want to make sure that the students understand that. In addition to the PSAT being new, all juniors will also be taking the redesigned SAT in April. Now, I know that April seems like it's a ways away, but the reason we want you to know about it now is that there is a lot of information that students can be doing at this point to prepare for this test. Um, one thing, or there are several things actually, that SAT is recommending for students to prepare. And one of them is to use Khan Academy as a test prep site. Khan Academy will offer free SAT prep. Students need to go on and create an account. And the website is khanacademy.org slash SAT. And really, the more that students can practice this, they offer up to free, um, four free practice tests. The more they practice and become familiar with the format and the questions, the more prepared that they will be for the test. And that really is essentially the best way to prepare, is to simply practice. Um, another suggestion that they have is to build their re reading stamina. Practice reading nonfiction tests, texts that they're not used to reading and text that is a little bit more in length so that they are used to that for when they get ready to take the SAT. They need to practice editing their writing and they should also practice doing their math without a calculator. The SAT has a math portion for calculator and non-calculator. So that's something that they should get used to doing. Another thing that's different about the SAT is that there is no penalty now for having a wrong answer. So students need to answer every question. And if they start running close to the end of the time of the test, then they should bubble some kind of answer in. Um, there is also an app that is available. And right now it's just available through Apple, but Android will also be offering one. And it's an SAT 
practice app. Students can actually take a practice test. They can use their phone to take a picture of their bubble sheet. It will automatically send it to Khan Academy to be scored. They can also practice an essay and have it scored by somebody at Khan Academy. So there are lots of opportunities for students to understand what this new test is going to be like, and we hope that they take advantage of that. So in the month of October, all 10th graders went on to careercruising.org and did an interest inventory. From that, they learned careers that they may be interested in. And then it, at Midland High the end of October and at Dow High in the beginning of November, we'll have a career fair where there are going to be various careers from the community represented as long, along with um, post-secondary schools and our CTE programs that are at the high schools, such as welding and auto and foods classes, so that stu students can see a tie between the classes they take in high school and the careers that they lead to. So through this career fair, students will have the opportunity to talk to the different professionals, find out about their schooling, about the career, and really get a good feel for, is this a career that they're interested in? And there's always opportunities for job shadowing if a student is interested in that career and wants to spend more time with that professional to really see what they do in their job. So as students are going through the career fair, they may find different careers they're interested in. We have a connection with the GMCA, Greater Michigan Construction Academy, where students can go there their junior and senior year and learn about various trades, or they can attend after high school and learn about various trades and go on and um, achieve their journeyman's card. If students are interested in the military, the ASVAB test is given at both schools. It's given at Dow High in November and at Midland High in December. The ASVAB is a military entrance test and it helps students to see what careers they can go into in the military. Now, even though it's a military test, it's not limited only to students who are going to enter the military. Um, other students may take the test and use it as a career interest inventory to learn more about careers that they would be successful in. So in the middle of November, it will become the end of the marking period. Um, a good way of keeping tabs on your students is by checking Home Access Center. And through Home Access Center, you can see current grades, you can see um, attendance, and then there's always a tab that has um, transcript, which the transcript just shows semester grades, but if you have questions on what classes they've taken in the past or what their current transcript looks like, you can always look on that tab in Home Access Center. Um, if students, if your student needs a tutor, if they feel like they could use a little bit more help in some of their classes, you can either contact your counselor or at Midland High they have a drop-in tutoring in the uh, media center. So there are students who have had these classes and are um, maybe just explaining it a little different than the teacher, but able to work with students and help them to learn um, the information in the different classes. And one thing that's always good for students to get in the habit of is to check their school email. I know sometimes teachers send email through, through the school email. Um, we send information on um, colleges, careers, a lot of different things. And it's good to just get in the habit because once your student is in college, a lot of information will be sent through their school email. So it's, it's good to get in the habit of checking that. That is our edition of Counselor's Corner for this month. Please check back next month when we'll give you more important information.